So we're going to set up our ERC721 smart contract to mint our NFTs and we're using hard hat to deploy our contract. If you'd like, you can also use Remix. And just to show you how simple this is, we can use the wizard from Open Zeppelin and through checking a couple boxes, we can actually just use this boilerplate contract. So you want our contract to mint our NFT is the most important thing. So we'll click on the mintable option. We want to auto increment the ID. So one, two, three, four. This URI storage part is important. We'll want that. We want to make sure that it's ownable. And then you can just copy and paste this in. We've got the name of our contract here, the name of our entity project, sorry, and our symbol. So let's look at our code in more detail. We've added some more things. So we'll, we've added a maximum supply and a mid price. And this is our base URI. And the most important function here is safe mint. And this is the address we're going to be sending our NFT to that mints it. And the URI part, the space URI is actually the data in our JSON file that we had here in Pinata. So we're actually minting this metadata here, these key value pairs. And as you see, the image in this case is actually stored on IPFS in a decentralized manner. But this is actually what's getting passed in here. And you'll see this at the front end of our app. We're making sure that we've not reached our max supply and that they're actually paying the amount of our mid price. And here we're incrementing our, our IDs every time we mint. And if you notice, we have the withdraw payments function, which is important because we want to withdraw all, all the money that we get from people minting our NFTs. The rest here is just boilerplate that gets inherited from all these open Zeppelin libraries. So make sure again, you run NPM install. I've already run that. Then we're going to run NPX hard hat compile, compiler contract. And I've already compiled our contract. So remember all the data found here in this ABI file we'll be using in the front end React app that we'll build next. So make sure to save this file and finally make sure we deploy our contract to the RunKB test network. So we'll do npx hard hat run deploy and give it a second to deploy. And while it deploys, innumerable Innumerable is a, is a library that we've inherited as well from Open Zeppelin and Alexis gets things like our total supply of tokens and so on. And that's it, our contracts being deployed. So as you can see, actually minting an FD is very simple. It comes down to this one core safe mint function using Open Zeppelin's library. And notice I have this one line here, token ID counter increment. What this does is instead of starting our token counter from zero, zero, one, two, three, we actually start at one. So the constructor, constructor function only runs once when we create a smart contract. So we're starting our contract, um, we, we run zero, so that gets knocked out. And so the next NFT we mint will start at one and the next will be minted at two and so on and so on. And again, feel free to take this and paste it into Remix and test it out yourself.